welcome to Science Kitchen. My name is Riley and I'm Toby. We are joining you from the, Go the Gold Coast. Follow us. So we are now sitting down here on this bench we were just filming up there. Um, we only just finished filming 30 takes of the very like the introduction. And in a second we're about to on our bikes and we're only like we started 30 seconds ago and cameraman well has just gone to the toilet already has to go we started we over there stop. so we're like 100 meters from where we started and we had to stop and also i'd like to point out it says rad on the back of my helmet and i'm really sad <laughs> i'm not happy <laughs> I know you should not have pointed that out. Okay. Okay, yeah, we gotta do People are looking at us. <laughs> Quick beat stop. We'll be almost there. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's start our experiment. Um, so you might be able to tell it's been a long time. A long time, since we got a couple here. hours. But post production says it's been a couple seconds. So open. 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 So open. Welcome to Science Kitchen. Science for kids, by kids. My name is Riley, in case you've forgotten. And I... Oh, and this is Toby. Hello. <laughs> uh, as I was trying to say, a lot of shows don't really start off with a special, but I figured that based on our current situation and events that's going on right now, I think that we should do a COVID-19 special. Uh, we actually did start filming another episode before this one. That was Volcanic Eruptions. But, no. Moving on. Science is everywhere. It's in your gardens, it's in your kitchen, it's in your dad's work shed even. Oh, but that's a story for another time. I would like to pass you on to Toby now. Hi. This experiment proves the import importance of washing your hands to stop the spread of COVID-19 with science. For this experiment, you will need your safety glasses, as always, some milk, depending on how many times you want to do this experiment. We've got two litres, I think. Some ground pepper, um, a, a plate, uh, a plastic plate or tin foil like what we've got that's a bit deep to put a bit of milk in. It doesn't really matter which plate you use but it's just, we've just chosen this one. And most importantly, some soap. Now, how to do the actual experiment. So I'm going to ask you to hold this microphone for me, thank you. Okay. So first you get your milk and you put it into the plate. Well, 
Unless you're some of those people that like to put their milk into their cereal first, do the pepper, whatever. So fill it up to about halfway, not so it overflows. We don't actually know if this works yet. This is like the first time we've done it, but we're pretty sure it does. And then you get your pepper. Yep. Probably if you've got a pepper shaker like this, use the three little dot things there, not the big ones. So you kind of sprinkle the pepper all over. That didn't really work, did it? <laughs> okay, I lied. Maybe we do have to use the, one of the bigger ones. Okay, that's better. The um, milk <laughs> represents the air and the surfaces and the pepper is like the virus. So when you put your hand in, the, vi um, the virus will stick to your hand. But if you put it in after you've washed your hands with soap, then the virus will stay away from you. And also, I recommend not drinking this milk when you're done. Um, and finally, um, you got your soap. So you've got to dip your finger in the soap and put it in there and hopefully um, to show that the soap is working, the, the pepper or the virus will go away when we put our finger in. But since Toby and I have an argument on who wants to go first, I have a coin, a little five cent piece. So I'm going to flip the coin. You can hold the microphone. I'm going with heads. I'm going with tails. I don't know how to flip it, so I'm just going to... Oh, oh, oh where is it? Tails. I oh, know. Look at me go. Okay. Okay. So dip your finger in the soap. Oh, just quickly, this is what happens if you don't wash your hands in soap. You get, like, virus on your finger. Now let's see what happens when you do use soap. I'm really hoping it does make a difference because we've just wasted <laughs> all the time. Okay. Ooh, oh, I just dropped it in there. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh, what? We thought that we had to cut, so I tipped out the milk, so we had to fill it up, as you can see. Like, that kind of happened. You'll see how that happened in the blooper reel. <laughs> okay. So now it's Toby's turn. There's the soap. I filled it up a bit. Don't drop it in like I did. Just wait for a bit to drip off. And... That is so that is satisfying. That is insane. How does this happen? Do it in the edge. Oh, that didn't really work. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, less virus. Less virus. <laughs> but see, if you don't scrub it, Scrub the soap for like 20 seconds. This is what happens. But if you, let's just wash hands quickly. And I'll show you what happens if you fully coat your finger in the soap. You're gonna wash it for 20, 20 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds is over. <laughs> 20 seconds. And look. It does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, it is extremely important that during times like these, and all times, you maintain your hand hygiene by washing your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds, multiple times throughout the day. And if you cannot do that, just use some hand sanitizer. And as per the government's recommendations, they say to at least keep 1.5 metres away from people and, like, social distancing and don't leave the house unless you really, really need to. Just please stay safe and just follow your government's recommendations. Um, and if you want to keep up to date, we'll leave, the dis we'll leave a link in the description for the World Health Organisation and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow our Instagram at Science Kitchen Kids. Thanks for watching. Bye.